Hey guys, this is Evie and welcome back to my channel. So for this look, I'm using Long Care Pretty Nails Pink Nude Acrylic along with this aqua glitter acrylic that I mixed up and I've already prepped my natural nails and applied my nail forms and now I'm applying Nail Nails Nail Prep Dehydrator and then a coat of the No Lift Nails Primer. And then I'm going in with the Long Care Pretty Nails Pink Nude Acrylic and I'm creating a nice crisp smile line. And I'm just going to extend the nail bed just a little bit um, just to make it nice and long and elegant looking. All right, so after I apply the nail bed color, I'm going in with this aqua blue glitter mix that I made, and I am just applying that to the tip area. Now this mix is super chunky. I wanted to add like lots of glitter and chunky pieces to it. Um, so it is pretty chunky and it is kind of hard to work with, but I make it work. I'm just taking small wetter beads of it and just taking my time to place it and mold it the way that I want. Um, and I'm not really focused on making it super smooth because I will be encapsulating this nail with Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. So moving on to the ring fingernail, this is just going to be a long stiletto nail formed out of the Long Care Pretty Nails Pink Nude Acrylic. So I know it has been a long time since I've last uploaded, but I've just been enjoying the holiday and we had family come in town and everything was just very nice and relaxing and I'm just very happy I was able to spend time with family so that is the reason why I've been gone but I am back and I'm really excited to get back into the groove of getting these nail videos out to you guys. So yeah I hope everyone had a beautiful holiday. I hope that you got everything that you wanted and that you spent time with your loved ones and I just wish everyone a happy new year as well. All right, so for the middle finger, I am going to be doing a ombre nail. So I'm starting off with that aqua glitter mix at the tip, and I'm just gonna use that to form the tip and kind of do um, a nice gradient kind of feather on the nail bed area so there aren't any like harsh lines or anything like that.
All right, so once the tip is formed, I'm just gonna go in with the Long Hair Pretty Nails Pink Nude Acrylic at the nail bed area. And I'm just applying that to the cuticle area and bringing it downward to create a nice ombre gradient. And I just apply more of the Pink Nude Acrylic and pull it over the aqua tip until I like the way the ombre looks. Because this aqua acrylic is so chunky, it was a little difficult to kind of blend the pink nude over it the way that I wanted to. Um, but I just kept using smaller beads and kind of just working it the way that I want. It's not perfect, but I'll take it. <laughs> And I just repeat the same thing for my index fingernail. All right, so after forming all of the nails, I'm just gonna go in with the Long Hair Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic and I'm going to encapsulate all the nails where I use the Aqua Glitter Acrylic. And I'm just doing this because I need to be able to file the nail without damaging any of that beautiful glitter acrylic. And I'm also building up the nail as well um, because I tried to make the glitter tips as thin as possible since the acrylic is super chunky. Um, I didn't want this nail to be so bulky and all of that. So the tips are pretty thin and I just build up this strength with the clear acrylic.
all right so this is after the acrylic has set and i've taken the nail forms off and i'm just going to do my shaping and filing as always i like to start off with my hand file on the 100 grit side and file the sides of the nail and smooth over the top of the nail as well and after i'm done with the hand file i like to go in with my medium grit safety bit from poochie snails and i like to work this around the cuticle area to make it nice and flush and if you're interested in the nail dust collector or the e-file i will put links down below all right so this is after i have filed shaped and buffed and now I'm going to start on my spiral. I'm taking this alpha mini striper brush and kind of using this as a guide because it has a nice tapered end to it. And I'm taking the paper backing from my nail forms and I'm just going to wrap that around this brush and just try to um, continue to make it as tight as I can and you know keep the form and all of that. So once I have it the way that I like, I'm just going to take a piece of scotch tape and apply it to um, the paper so it can stay in this cone shape. And this is my platform for the spiral. And I'm just going to measure it to my nail and kind of um, mark where my fingertip starts. And that is where I'm going to start the spiral. And I'm just taking that aqua glitter acrylic mix and I'm using that to create the spiral. As you can see, it is super chunky. So I am just taking very wet small beads of it and using that to create the spiral. So this is my final spiral design and I really, really love the taper on this one. Um, my husband actually helped me come up with this and I'm like, you know, having that taper spiral is like so perfect and to have it slip over the nail, it like fits perfectly. So this was such a good idea and I really, really love the taper spiral. And also this time I wanted to make the spiral thinner so I'm just trying to keep it nice and thin and dainty. I, you know, I've been doing some very thick spirals so I wanted to see what it would look like um, in a thinner spiral. So once I have the spiral formed, I'm just gonna go ahead and encapsulate it using the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. All right, so once the acrylic has set, I'm just gonna work it off of this form and kind of just push in the paper and give it a twist and it slides right off. So this is how it looks and it is so cool. It does have a little springiness to it. <laughs> So next I'm taking my e-file and some small drill bits and I'm just going to file the edges of it um, just to make it nice and smooth. Okay. 
All right, so now I'm going in with the Poochie Snails Super Shine Gel Top Coat and I'm going to apply this to all of the nails. And as always, the top coat just brings all the glitter to life. It is just so beautiful. I love this acrylic mix. It is so gorgeous. And before I care, I'm just going to apply some iridescent crystals. And these crystals are available at longcareprettynails.com. I will leave a link down below. All right, so then I care this in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And if you're interested in my LED lamp, I will leave a link down below. And now I'm applying the spiral back onto the cone form and I'm just going to apply some gel top coat to it as well. And give it a 60 second cure. So yeah, this is how the spiral looks after it is cured. It is still nice and flexible. So now I'm just going to slip it over my ring fingernail and because it is slightly flexible, I'm able to work it down the nail the way that I want. You don't want to push too hard because you will break it. So just be careful. All right, so once I have it on the nail the way that I want it to be, I'm just going to reinforce it with some small beads of clear acrylic. And this just ensures that it doesn't move or snag on anything. Um, it is thinner, which means it's weaker, and it does kind of bend more than the thicker spirals. So I just didn't want to break it. So I did um, reinforce it with clear acrylic. So once the acrylic has set, I do go in with some gel top coat over the acrylic beads um, just to give it some shininess and make it blend with the nail. All right, so after curing, I apply my cuticle oil. And this is the finished look. I love the aqua and pink nude color combination. It is so pretty and I just really, really, really love this tapered spiral. I think it is bomb. <laughs> and I just love how, you know, it slips over the nail. It fits like a glove. It is just so cute. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. Head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the shop. The whole site is currently 20% off. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in my next one.